clean. Okay, today is day four. We are embarking on our driving. So we had the 14th, the 15th, the 16th. The 17th. Today is day five. It's really day five. Yeah, oh today gosh. is day five. So day one. So we are taking a little baby moon. Um, as a family, we've always done a fun uh, vacation celebrating the family that was into the family that is blooming. <laughs> and uh, this year, baby. <laughs> this year because of the Corona summer, we are not flying. Baby. And we decided to do some outdoor baby. things through the plains. And it's proving to be um, a little bit more difficult than we um, had thought. It's a bit exhausting, but fun. Well, more things are closed. We thought that we would be able to make more stops um, and see more things, but it has proven not to be the case. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, our, this, our, our, did, yeah, our goal has been to find outdoor activities away from people that are still open, and we found some. <clears throat> so, Okay, so day one, we left Utah, and we made it all the way to Keystone, Colorado. Day two, we went from Keystone, and we were trying to get to Topeka, but we made it all the way to Hayes, Kansas. Yep. Day three, we went from Hayes, Kansas to Missouri. We made it to Mis far... Yeah, Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> we made it to Cameron, Missouri, and then we decided to stop for a day. And so this is our last two days. So we stopped at Joe's Barbecue in Kansas City, which Anthony Bourdain listed as one of the top places you should go get barbecue. What did we think? That is good. I thought it was, it was super good. good. It was super good. It was pretty incredible. It was amazing. It was really, really good. We got um, burnt ends, which we highly recommend. We got the ribs, which we recommend. We got the... Baby's taking off her diaper, knock it out. <laughs> and we also got to fill up our gas there. Yeah, the so it, was a, it's, it was a two in one for her. Um, we also got the pulled pork and we got the brisket. Yep, and they, it was really good. We, we ate it an hour later and it was still good. Yeah, it was great. And then we also stopped at the Cozy Inn in Salina. That was in Kansas. And they are known, they're this little outdoor eatery. You just walk up to the window and they sell itty bitty mini, mini teeny tiny hamburgers. Yep, by the sack, by the sack. Yeah, by the sack. So we got three sacks of burgers. <laughs> yeah, you could buy them um, in packs of six. I two, I was gonna eat five. You were, but did we run out? Yeah. Oh. I was only buying, I was gonna eat, I was gonna eat, I was gonna eat um, eight, but I only ate four, because mm. we ran out. So we bought 18, it was super hot outside, so we actually took them back to the air conditioning and we kept on our way, but they were fun. They were really, it was a fun little, okay, sit up then. It was fun. Um, that's pretty much all we did in Kansas. It was really interesting to see the plains turn into the, to rolling valleys. Um, that was really pretty. Um, so our so we stopped. Why did we stop in Missouri and take a day off? So we stopped at some LDS historical sites and Adam on Diamond, which we'd never been to a lot of these. That's part of the reason we're taking this baby moon uh, road trip because usually we fly places and we can't now. Um, but it was beautiful. It's this piece of church property. It's a bit unassuming. You wouldn't know it without the signs that it is sacred ground. And so we got to be there, experience that, feel the spirit. It was, it was pretty incredible. Yeah, so we also, I had met some families on um, Facebook that were part of the community here. So they met us there and they just kind of, they just visited and learned about the community here. And it was really interesting. It was really neat, really neat to be able to connect with people that had migrated here um, in our day since obviously the extermination church, order yeah <laughs> since the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints has a long history of migration so that was really 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 fun and then the next day we ended up going to the far west temple site where the temple will be built and you can see the four cornerstones and we spent a lot of time driving around these little cities we ate at a little place called <clears throat> i know i'm going to say this oh. wrong it's dutch gingrich I thought it was Gold, Gold Witch. I thought it was Gingrich Dutch Bakery. It's, it's Gingrich. <laughs> Time will tell. We will now insert a photo of what it was. Yeah. 
Um, but it was great. They had amazing fried chicken. They had catfish, um, catfish fried shrimp. Yeah, it's this little, uh, yeah, little, really cozy little um, restaurant with amazing food. So it was, yeah, it was a good experience. And then we went to an Amish country store. Yeah, it was interesting. It was the Jameson Country Store, mm -hmm. which is super interesting. Everything was really not priced like we're used to in Utah. Things were a lot. Uh, yeah, they're less like, expensive. They were like 25 cents each. <clears throat> so, yeah, and one of the fun parts was, you know, we're in Amish country, so we got to see all the, the cart and buggies and, you know, men with uh, bottom beards everywhere. What did you want to say? We were just going to get cinnamon rolls, but there was this side, and we were getting an apple, and we get ice cream with cinnamon rolls. It was so good. The food tasted like real food. It was just, it just tasted really good. It didn't taste like synthetic or artificial at all. We were really, it was just really nice because we've just been eating a lot of fast food. And you know, um, we're not saying that fried chicken is super healthy, but it just tasted really good. It was just a nice departure. So it was super interesting. So you go to the Jameson Country Store and, uh, you know, all the Amish are in there. Their traditional clothing and dresses and bonnets. May, this may be a little out of uh, a little weird, but it kind of reminded me of the polygamists in Utah. Only they talk to you. <laughs> so I, I have never met a polygamist in Utah. Well, it's because they don't talk to you. They just uh, gotta walk past you. But they, but they but, yeah, they're dressed similar. Yeah, they're dressed similar. Well, they make their own clothing. And right. right. So yeah, so that was super fun. I loved it. Um, one of the families also that we met in the community here just bought her property so she showed us around it and it's very typical in Missouri to buy um, land here so in Utah it's not as popular to buy land it's one of the things that we're wanting to do um, but here it's really popular so most of the properties come with land like, like one of the women was just like oh just two acres is what is where we they live. just call that a yard yeah we're just like okay two acres like we would love two acres <laughs> So, definitely a different way of life. It was yep. really calming, really <laughs> slow paced. Everything's really rural and spread out. It was just a really fun way of life to see. It was nice to take a day off. It would, it still felt <laughs> like traveling because it was a lot of driving around. Yeah, but the sights were really far apart. But it was nice to not be stressed with going to get somewhere at a certain time and to meet some really nice people. And... Yeah, experience that. So we limited our sightseeing to far the far west and um, Adam on Diamond because everything is closed again. But those were two. If you can only see two sites, those are really great. They're 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 very meaningful and they're very beautiful, and you can spend hours at both. And it was it was well worth it. Um, I'm really glad we stopped. I'm really glad we took the time. I'm glad we took the day off. It was a nice break. So today we are going to travel from Missouri, Missouri, and we're going to try and make it all the way to Evansville, Indiana. Maybe, maybe even slightly further. Yes. Okay. Just a minute. Which means we're going to drive through the St. Louis Arch. Yep. We'll and drive over there. And we'll show you all the cool things that we come upon. All right. All right. Probably won't be a ton <laughs> from the car. It's going to be amazing. All right. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. Tell daddy you want some more. Is it good? <laughs>